Welcome, um, Louisa here from hallaboutstamping.co.uk and today I've um, got a really cute little card that I um, cut out of my Cricut. Um, it's a Laurie Whitlock um, file. I'll leave a um, link in the blog post and there'll be a link to the blog post in the description below. So I've cut this one out. I've done this out of um oh gosh i can't remember what this paper's called something frost i've got it here somewhere um oh i want to say first frost but i don't think that's what it is um oh it feels like frost um dsp and the matching cardstock so it's kind of a bit tone on tone um and I love the snowflake and yes I have cut snowflake out of a snowflake paper I couldn't resist um so yeah that's quite a kind of I don't know whether I'd call it classic but anyway um so that's the first one and the second one I've um cut out of the um wrapped and plaid DSP um and the one I'm going to do today has got a stocking on it um because i brought them there was a few files and they were all as a bundle um and yes surprisingly i have used i can't find the paper now oh here and yes i have got um oh yes well i did tartan but i did the stocking and i can't find the stocking one now it got stockings on it oh. how very odd Anyway, one of the papers has got stockings on, and I have done that. I have cut them out already, um, and on this one, the scoring that she does on this one as a default is little dashed lines. Um, so it's actually cut like a dashed line, it's a fold line, um, and I changed it to a score line, and it didn't fold quite as well, so I've left it as it is on the file um i haven't done anything to it i haven't altered anything just comes as it is um so yeah i was i haven't altered anything on here sorry i beg your pardon i have changed that matte layer um and i don't know whether i'm going to use that matte layer on here because i'm going to use a different stamp set and i don't think it will fit on that right so this is what comes in the in the file you've got your card base here um, and then you've got a couple of layers that will go on here although I'm going to do stockings couldn't resist um, and then that's going to go there and then this is a stocking that I'm going to layer up and it did come with a white strip that I have now lost oh here <laughs> comes with that there and I did forget to say as well that the file came with um, the sentiment as a cut file. I've just turned off, I, I haven't deleted them. Um, I just press a little, um, on design space, a little eye on that file to get rid of it because I knew I didn't want to use that. Um, so I'm going to get folding. So, bone folder, that's what we need. Oop. Oh, I just hit the camera, I think. <laughs> so, you're just going to, on the top of the, you've got the narrow score line here. So, you're just going to fold that up, fold this that way, and then fold that down. You will kind of know what way they fold. So, what's that? And it definitely folds nicer with the, even with the Cricut Maker, which definitely scores better <laughs> than the um, than the Explore. So now um, I'm going to stick these down here, um, and I might put a bit of dimension on this one. So this one's going to be a bit more colourful. Oh, 
and I don't want to stop things upside down. Although I think the stockings go a bit every which way. I'm sorry, probably discs. There we go. And then this one is going to go, I think, that way. I'm going to stick that on straight. Okay, and that bit goes on the bottom panel here. Easy peasy. And I love, I'm not patient enough <laughs> to try and work out how to do that by hand. And I think, can't remember, I think these do come with a PDF file. So if you wanted to print it out and then cut it out if you didn't have um, a die cutting machine, as it were. Um, see, and then we've got lovely little sock and pieces. And I've used Barmy Blue, it's not a colour in here, that's actually Night of Navy, um, but I kind of thought it wouldn't quite um, be contrasty enough, so mm, I'm going to have to have a dark piece of paper because I can't see where the holes are. I should probably use liquid glue. That would probably be better. Hey, hey. And then that just lines up there. And I'm going to put this whole thing, I think, on dimensions, I think. And I can just. I've actually. The Cricut Maker cuts out fabric, and I've just cut out a stocking. Out of fabric. Oh, that's not very straight, is it? Louisa? A bit straighter than that. Never mind. Um, so yeah, quite keen to get that cut. Well, I've cut it. I've got to sew it next. So I've got. And may your heart be filled with the love of Christmas. Um, so I am going to have to recut a. Um, Uh, cut a strip, but that won't be a problem. In fact, so I've got a spare bit of whisper white here. I'm going in with Knight of Navy. And I don't think I've put that on my block very straight. So, excuse my head if it gets in the way. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going in with that. Ooh, that's a bit splodgy. I haven't used this stamp yet, so I think it may be worth just catching a bit on the side. I don't know why it's doing that. Hmm. Anyway, so I'm gonna stamp that. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that. There's something. <laughs> There's something wrong with the ink pad. I'm going to do that again. It needs to be really catching on that side for some reason. Let's try again. That's better. So I'm going to be brave, and I, you can do this with your trimmer. I'm not. I'm just going to hack. But feel free to do it with your trimmer. It's probably, in fact, a better idea. Because I'll probably get that wonky. You might get it better than I am. <laughs> and then you throw it on your lap. Because that adds to it. And I've smudged it, so that's great. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, at least you've got that. I didn't even check. 
Oh yeah. Oh, how cute. Right. So I'm gonna. Because I'm gonna elevate this, I think. dimension well I think anyway and apparently stick it to yourself there we go And these are a lovely <laughs> um, cutting file. I've actually had these for a couple of years. And I haven't done a project on them. And I thought, oh, oh, how cute's that? Oh, that's really cute. I like that. And then I'm going to take um, an edge. Oh, my sword is this. Um, I'm going to take a... Um, a stamping dimension edge so I'm just going to clip it there so I use every bit of I've probably said this a thousand times I use every bit of my stamping dimensions because why would you waste all that lovely dimension Okay, those are oop, two cards. Card you made on the video, card I made before. Um, I have to go like, oh, oh, look, they both fit. <laughs> so, two completely different cards. I think they're both gorgeous. Um, so, I'll leave a link for everything in the description. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already um, and hit the little bell button so you get notified. Um, yes, and I will leave a link for the project in the description. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.